Let me see. I have a little background in IT. I'm planning to get a, secure, a CompTIA Plus and a Network Plus. What do you recommend for the big bucks? If you're following this track, I, I would recommend a professional level certification. Professional level certs make the big bucks. Here's how you do it. If you're, there's different paths to make the big bucks. One is experience. If you have a lot of experience, then that's, you, you can get your foot in the door. You got to know how to market yourself. The next thing is to, certifications are good too, but if you can get a degree, if you have the resources to get a degree, and not everybody does, not everybody wants to spend that money. And I totally understand that because the degree hold the university thing's getting ridiculous. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. If you want to go the certification route, you need to get a professional level cert. And let me show you, let me show you how to find that. I'm going to take you guys on a little trip here. Let me show you. I'm going to walk you through this so you know how to do this. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to explain as I go. Okay, number one, go to Google and type this. Type in security certification certificate. If I could, <laughs> my, my eyes are bad, man. Progression, progression chart. And then you want to go to a site called pauljeremy.com. I could have just told you to go to pauljeremy.com, but I'm lazy. <laughs> All right, pauljeremy.com. I, I didn't know how to type his name. pauljeremy.com. This is a really good site. And what I like about this is that he's breaking down all the major certifications. That's what you're seeing. All these different colors are different aspects of cybersecurity. And the ones that make the big bucks are these ones in the starting about intermediate, around, about in the middle of the page up. These are all what you call professional level certifications. You got the C-RISC or the certified certified in risk and information secure uh, system controls. You've got that the health information security and privacy practitioner. You've got the CISSP, you've got the CISA, you've got the CISM, you've got the GCIA. You, all these certifications are the big bucks. They're not easy certifications by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, some of them are very difficult. There's a couple in here that are not too hard. Um, but for the most part, when you get above the midsection, these are not, these are going to be very focused certifications and uh, difficult to do. That's how you make the big books right there. That's how you do it. If you have a professional level certification, any person on this live will attest to this. If you have a professional level certification and you have about, I don't know, six years of experience, uh, you can make six figures. And it also depends on where you are, too. You know, I'm not going to lie. Like, it, it depends on where you are. If you happen to be in Wyoming or something, you're probably not going to make six figures in Wyoming. No matter what you do. <laughs> I, don't, it's, I have no idea. But, but yeah, if you happen to live in the, if you happen to live in, let me see, there's a couple of parts of the country that are really good for this. If you happen to work in the DMV area, which is D.C., Maryland, Virginia, that's six figures. Six figures is nothing to them. If six figures is chump change for them. If you happen to work in Plano, Texas, parts of Texas are really good for six figures. Silicon Valley, six figures is chump change. Southern Colorado, California, parts of California. Yeah. So it six figures is easy in these places. If you happen to, especially if you have a security clearance, that's another way to make the big bucks. If you have a security clearance, 